Hello again, everyone. We are back. It's your friend Will. This is the memory lapse, and we're going to attempt to continue our uh, Grixis control in best of one series here by putting together another 7 win run. I don't know if we're going to be fortunate enough to go 7 0 again, but I'm trying to prove the concept here with back to back 7 win runs. It's a pleasant surprise because, uh, Nickel Bolas is such a cool card. You want it to be good. You want it to be playable. Mm. As a two-lander, this is a little bit sketchy. But I think with the syncopate, we have to keep... And we just have to believe in our heart of hearts that uh, there will be land on top. All right. That was the one thing I was afraid of, that they were just going to slam Electromancer on us. But we're going to have to settle for trying to counter the stuff that they play after Electromancer now. I think this is actually worth syncopating. They've already discarded a card, we don't want them to draw. If they're doing this to find land, we want to punish them. And they're just going to have it. Okay. Well, luckily, if we draw land, we just get to contempt this, and it kind of blows up their whole start. It's a big if, though. Hey, we got there. So rather than risk them having an answer, we're just going to do this now. Gain our life, and then we can follow up with Nicol Bolas or Doom Whisperer, or even Eldest Reborn. Depending on if we draw land. Looks like they discarded Beacon Bolt. All right, so no land. I think I'm just going to put Nickel Bolas into play, make them discard. Looks like their hand is all spells. Of one sort or another. Well, well, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you help them. Interesting, they must have drawn this off the Radical idea. Because I think they would rather discard this than discard the Beacon Bolt. Beacon Bolt's currently at 4, too. Damn. Because of the removed from game spells. So they're digging for land. They must have another Crackling Drake. They find it. So they could have Beacon Bolt and Spell and get back uh, Phoenix here. Wow, get back two Phoenixes? All right, so yeah, three Phoenixes in the top 16. A little tough. Oh, they don't actually have it. That's sick for us. I think we're just going to Eldest Reborn them. Get rid of this Electromancer. And assume that they're not going to have three spells here. Murmuring Mystic. That's a card. Another Electromancer. Just play Doom Whisperer. I think we stand a fair shot of beating this Mystic, considering they're so low on cards now. I guess the question is, what's better to bring back? Our own Nicol Bolas? Or something like a Crackling Drake? I think I actually want to bring back Crackling Drake. I think we want to draw. We want to get a big threat on the table. 
biggest threat. Really, we just want to draw. So I like that we have these sinister sabotages. We have a moment of craving to bite down on a phoenix that they might bring back. I wonder what their hand is. They're still just gonna hold back on defense with the Drake. The Doom Whisperer tramples. So the birds don't do a good job blocking it. And we're just going to sit behind the comfort of double sinister sabotage. We got pretty lucky that they did not have the spells. It looked like they were going to bring back like double arc like Phoenix there. Alright, let's just get some cards. Still just attack with a Doom Whisperer. I can see they could have like blink of an eye here. Shock. Where's that shock going? To my face. Trample over, they take three. Or they go down to three, they take five. It's going to be fairly hard for them to win this turn or even survive their, the next turn now. If they bring back the Arc Light Phoenixes, they need to do it to block. And it's not even good at blocking a Doom Whisperer. Alright, there we go. We got pretty lucky to draw the lands that we needed after keeping two. I think that syncopate was pretty good. That one syncopate to keep them from drawing two cards. Um, obviously they followed it up really nicely, but we drew the land, we contempted away their phoenix. And at that point, they were down to like three cards. Awesome. All right, on the draw, we keep. We have cast down. We have two lands. We have uh, more expensive answers in card draw, too, so. This hand is weak to like a like a white weenie go wide type deck, but we have good draws against them. They mulligan, so we'll keep. They kept on top. All right, so they do look like they might be a go wide deck. Moment of craving is a good draw, if that's the case. All right, not so good against this one in particular. But pretty good against the rest of the deck. That's a cool planes art. Huh. They played this after attacking. Interesting choice. Uh, well, we don't want to take six. 
even though we are probably going to ritual set next turn anyways, if we draw land, the difference between taking two and six is pretty high. All right. And we're going to do this just because we don't really have good answers to these knights. Hmm. Looks like they just have nothing. Or they have like Conclave Tribunals and stuff. Reactive cards. We're going to find out. Yep. All right, let's let's take a look. How good is Elves Reborn rate to be here? I think reasonable against like an angel or something. They could be on a slower build. All right. Oh, I think our play is to draw this Elves Reborn, pass the turn. And just sit back on our reactive cards. And if they do nothing, we'll just incite Benwish Marshall resolves. Benwish Marshall is basically doing nothing. So the question is: Do we Eldest Reborn versus? Hostage taking. Uh, Elsterborn seems okay. I actually like the discard potential here. It's also more mana efficient. Ooh, now we can hostage take this. Oh wow, okay. They're going for it. Yoink. Now we even have a clock, which is sick. All right, now it's a little bit overkill, I think. We've survived. All right, 2-0. Just keep running it back. Nickel Bullets is just surprisingly good in these uh against these creature decks. Like it's a bigger than average blocker. It's not that expensive, cost four. And the discard is usually pretty relevant when they're down to like one or two cards in hand. It can be pretty punishing. So it creates a lot of two for ones. Um alright, so we have syncopate. They can have a one drop. Hmm. I do want to set up the top of my deck, so let's take a look. What are we seeing here? <laughs> it has to scroll through the text box. This is awesome. I think we just want to take the Luminous Bond.
I mean, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to lose to this deck. I want to see what they're going to do here. I am interested. They want to just like put enchantments on this healer's hawk. I think the best way to, to stop this is just to deny the hawk. Alright. Play their favorable wind. Oh. They drew a guy. <clears throat> they get to make him unblockable. I'm honestly not too worried about this getting one bigger. I think we just want to, for the sake of time, put a clock on them. If they want to enchant this up and swing for three, they can. And then we can decide if we want to just moment of craving it next turn. It's like a weird boggles deck. Hostage taker, watery grave. Take the hostage taker. And I think I'd rather just moment this. Yeah, weird boggles deck. Six, seven, eight. They're getting close to casting the Sakama. Doesn't even have haste though. This is kind of overkill. All right. They could have done that before they took the eight. All right, goodbye to their big boy. Yeah, hostage taker is like a interesting, like a better take on um, Chupacabra for this deck. Gets you out of some weird spots. Answers indestructible stuff. All right, well, sorry to our opponent who is clearly working with some budget cards here. You're going to run up against some of those, but that is also, you know, sadly to say, one of the reasons that these quick constructed cues are more lucrative. We'll squeeze in one more here, because we're still under 20 minutes.
Yeah, but when your opponents, when you when you do get to like free roll on a a budget opponent every now and then, yeah, it's shameful. But all right, we'll keep this. Okay, nice. Moment of craving is just so good in these matchups. Sucks a lot of momentum out of there. Whole plan. Just do this now. All right. So go to seventeen. Another moment of craving. So now we can decide if we need to use that this turn or if we can just ritual them. Yep. All right, let's save the save the life. Frenzy. Okay. Well, our plan to keep up with the Frenzy is Chemistry's Insight for now. And if they spew a bunch of dudes off the top, we're going to ritual them up. Really? They like burn on the top that they want to use on my turn. Now, you never want to say that you're safe against the experimental frenzy, but we feel I feel like we're at a good life total. If they just pass here again. Let's keep digging through our deck until we find something playable. These are both good draws. Third ritual of soot. It's not doing it. We have a nice full grip. I guess they've just hit a land pocket. And I am just going to cast this down to stop taking the one damage. Those add up when you're when they're playing off the top. Yeah, that's fine. This, I think, is a big mistake. I get that they're frustrated, but they're just permanently locking all this stuff into their hand now. We're just going to take care of this with a Ritual of Soot. Just going to start using this as one for one removal. Well, I guess they're like one land away from. Yeah, geez, we just kind of bricked off. Go to five. Our turn. Set them again. Protect our life total. Mm. 
I need to gain life. Just light on wind conditions here. Yeah, have have three. We'd like to see like Doom Whisper or Nickel Bullets off the top. Alright. So then the question is like what wins the game faster? Flipping it? Flipping it. Oh, were they considering shocking it um, to keep me from getting the life? Kind of looked like it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. A Doom Whisperer. Well, we're probably dead here, unfortunately. They're going to double break their ex experimental frenzies. We just, we just found our... Wait, what? Oh. Just found our big boy is too late, yeah. Then they went through thirty-eight cards, forty-eight cards of their deck. We definitely had a window there in the in the like the turn five, six, seven range where if we had just found a Doom Whisper, I think we win. But we did nothing while they did nothing. And then their experimental frenzy kicked in. Oh shoot. I forgot that we were going to end the video here, so I'm going to do that really quickly. And then we will be back for part two momentarily. Well, momentarily to me um, in a few hours for you.